I started Tara Swami in 1990. That I started Tara Swami in Haripad, my native village, and at Walayan Jarangara near Pirimbau. Sage Narada advises Lord Shiva farm work to call by Annaburna goddess Parvati in Kathagali Annaburnima. Experiments and experiences of Dr. Vairasheri Vamanandudri, now a retired professor and research guide. My farming is named biotic because I uh, use bio fertilizers more than any other. What is special about my uh, terrace farming is three level plants in the same box. That is three level plants in the same box. Plants need five. In other words, Panjabhudas. Panjabhudas in na nature friendly biotic farming. Wind, water, sunlight, soil enriched with microbes or biofertilizers. And here Akash is interpreted as the farmer's firm belief in Srimad Mahabhagavadas aforism Jeevo Jeevasya Jeevanam So this is sometimes known as a spiritual farming Jeevo Jeevasya Jeevanam Only life begets the living and living things continue life co-flown and complemented by other living things Plants feed on or fed by decomposers, microbes, biotic nature farming. So it is known as biotic nature farming. Here importance is for biofertilizers. Big banana uh, seedlings were placed on sheets filled with uh, neem cake, cocoa pit, dry leaves, cowbird, dungs and rocks, biofertilizers. Only one microbe at a time. Another community shall be smeared after two or three weeks to avoid clashes among diverse biofertilizing communities. So we must be aware of the fact that biofertilizers or microbes should be applied very carefully. After applying one kind of, for example, azoripellum or isobium, then only after two weeks you may apply another one. During summer, water sprinkled twice daily. When the banana starts new leaves, bags with holes with 45 centimeters height and the diameter width are filled 30 centimeters height in by organic biodegradable leaves, husk, manure, etc. Any one community of bio fertilizers are deposited. Tuber crops like yam, ginger, turmeric, tapioca can be planted inside and over them already goats like beans, tomatoes, amaranthas can be cultivated. Tuber crops can be uh, harvested after one, uh, after one or two harvests of amaranthas, beans and tomato. So now there are two levels. Ivy gourd and uh, banana take fertilizers from the bottom of the baths. By this time, vegetable harvesting and replanting is over. These baths encircle the bananas one meter of circumference. Banana roots penetrate bottoms of baths. Edible fruits like ivy gourd also sprout their roots in and under the baths. Using bend tubes, of various and appropriate types. All the roots can be deployed into a master fertilizing tank. Leaves need sun and wind. Roots need 
water and fertilizers. So, all the roots of about 2000 plants can be redeployed by using bend tubes of various and appropriate types into a master fertilizing tank. Sahajivana or symbiosis. Plants have particular companions or friends. Plant defense. Certain plants grow flower mold beside their dear and near friends. Kumbalam, for example, or ash god grow and flower mold near tamarind. And green chili flower mold near Krishna Dulasi or Osimam Sankhya. Plants prefer to grow, creep, climb to east and height. At after a stay, climbers like EV go, ivy gods need a wide horizontal trellis to have fruits at all leaf joints. Top of fruitless branches. Padinatta muttina chanaga muttiyal. Irivatiyata muttina kumbala mottai. This is uh, an adage in Onatuera. Climber gods like uh, Kumbalam or Ash God and even Ivy God, which produce big fruits or large number of fruits, need manure for their at least first 18 leaf joints to sprout roots and take in fertilizers and moisture and spread over a broad area. At the first sprout male fruitless blossoms and then female egged flowers. That is why Padinatta Muttina Chanaga Muttiya Irivatiata Muttina Kumbala Muttaya. Then another adage in Nona Tugara. Chaimbina Onbada Vulumba. Plants need periodical fertilizers around and top of root parts. Vulumbu means leaf meal. Fresh cow dung, bear drops, diluted cow urine, water weeds, plus biofertilizers. Then, chembu or sepan or colocasia. The big one is elephant ear. That is vetti chamber. Kandi chamber or vetti chamber. That is elephant ear colocasia. But, the most precious and aristocratic and tasty without, without any kind of itching sensation is Tamarakkanan Lotus Leaf Colocasia. To my best of my knowledge and belief, it is available only in Kerala. Tamarakkanan That is the leaf is almost like the leaf is almost like Lotus, Tamara, and it's a tuber. It's a tuber is like a, a Tamara tuber. It's very precious. Kovalayam, Vittuveni, Nathar. Pragurdi, Saugarda, Jeeva, Krishi, Gaveshama. Jeevo, Jeevasya, Jeevana. Jeevilakka, Jeevana, Jeevana, Jeevana. Srimat Mahabhagavad. Srimat Mahabhagavad.